Hello and welcome to another update video about the Nasdaq. It's been a while since we've covered the Nasdaq. Um, a lot has happened since then, but um, yeah, the, the overall, let's call it upside expectation is still um, existing at the moment, as long as we're holding a certain support level. We're gonna talk about that. I had, however, to change the subway structures a little bit. We had a few distortions and um, changes here on the smaller wave counts due to also due to some of the volatility effects generated by the um, you know interest rate decision and uh, CPI. Uh, I did mention in my last video already, I did absolutely not like this structure here at all. Um, there was a potential for an immediate breakout to the upside. However, as it got much and much, much more ugly in the last few days, um, it did move the market down a little bit. And this uh, blue wave structure is unchanged from previous videos. It is still uh, intact. It's still um, on the roadmap here to work out for higher prices because this has the potential to become an impulsive wave structure to the upside. Is it guaranteed? Absolutely not. But it currently is the primary expectation as long as we are holding support because we created a more substantial, uh, a substantial low back here in October. And we've seen um, several five wave move structures to the upside. We had five waves up here. We had five waves up here. And ideally we're moving on in five waves to the upside in the next wave three here, which we're gonna talk about uh, in a minute. Alternative wave pattern, of course. Um, <clears throat> this could just be, I'll show you that as well. So let's, let's maybe start with the bearish count. That's at the moment only the alternative wave pattern. But surely, because from the low here at the moment, we only had five waves up here. So that could have been a wave A as well. We moved down in three waves. That could be a wave um, B. And we moved up in five waves. That could be a wave C. So we have an A, B, C. We've reached um, basically um, that top with five waves. So wave A was in that case a diagonal wave B down and wave C was also a diagonal pattern. That's possible as, possible as an ABC structure. And at the moment, we have to say it very clearly, we only have three waves to the upside. So this could still break down and fail. Yeah? So we are not in this, at a stage yet in the markets. And I think that is very important for everybody to understand. We're not at a stage in the markets where we can say with full confidence that a low has been made. Absolutely not. We uh, are tracking possible upside potential. And uh, I think shorter upside potential is possible, certainly from here, as long as we're holding certain support levels that we're going to talk about. We reached here in this move to the upside, the basically the 1.236 extension at 12,150. That is one possible target for a C wave. So ABC is certainly possible. Um, yes. So what are we doing now? So the primary expectation, and, and that would take us down lower, obviously below the, the October low. And if we get more clarity, that this is breaking down, we're gonna put a target in here for, for this low. Um, at the moment, this move up, as I said, it um, it involves certain upside um, expectations here, as long as we're holding support. So wave one up, yes, wave two down, yes, and then wave three, not yet in, in blue, but within the wave three, because this is a five wave move up. So we had five waves up here, one, two, three, four and five, yeah? I'm gonna delete these again because they're just confusing, but we had five waves up and that can be considered therefore as another wave one to the upside. And the move now to the downside looks like an ABC to me, A, B, C. And as long as we're holding a certain support level, this is certainly valid. I'm also gonna take a look at the subwave structures with you in a minute to understand when that wave two could be finished. So, um, looking at what is now likely a support area and which area should we not drop below. So if we consider this as a five wave move to the upside, we should hold the support area that we have actually just entered. Yeah, That is a trend reversal area that we ideally should reverse out of in a wave um, two. So we've got here the yellow box. That is the area where I would expect the NASDAQ to turn around in an ideal pattern that would take us further to the upside. Um, if this is a wave one, then we had wave two here, A, B, C, we're now in the C wave, and ideally should turn around between the 78.6% FIB level and the 50% level. So between 10,940 and 11,366, pretty much. Um, this would be ideal, a C wave down at the moment. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it on the chart. 
So A down, B up, C down. Okay, so in this C wave, what would be the, the subwave structure? Is the low already in or not? I don't currently have any evidence that the low is already in. Um, to me, if I add the um, impulsive wave structures here for the C wave, to me, this looks a bit like wave one down, wave two to the upside here, um, and then, well, let me just change the colors as well, the wave degree, one second. We want to do it correct, of course. So that's the the subwave structure here. I don't think that wave three is in yet because we have to add uh, more subwaves. So in here we could say we had here another small one, two, and then possibly wave three here done now, wave four up and wave five down. That's how I would see it, which means we could get a little bit lower here. And we've got possible support levels on the chart, of course. So maybe in that yellow wave three, we're gonna come down here to the 61.8% um, FIP level, 11,190 and then get a bit of a wave four retracement to the upside and should then come, come down in a final wave five, maybe find support at the channel support here. That would be around 11,120 or maybe come even a little bit lower to the 78.6% FIP level down here at 10,940. Um, yeah. And from here we could then turn around and we should ideally not break below this support level. If we do it, then we are most likely in a scenario that does not support short-term upside anymore. And we would most likely move further down and see new lows. Yeah? What is also possible, another pattern, which however in the short term doesn't make any difference. Uh, I just want to mention it, however, is that all of this is a large ABC pattern, which would eventually make new lows, but more, let's say like a uh, Santa rally or something. Um, when we move up here in a wave A, come down in, no, one second, no, no, it's not correct. That all of this was wave A, we're now coming down in a B wave and would move up in a C wave afterwards. That's also possible. But at the moment I'm looking at a one here, a two and a three up. ABC wouldn't be any different. It would also most likely turn around here and then push higher um, and then have another pivot point, decision point up there where it will most likely put a new low in we wouldn't we we that's why we need to take it level by level at the moment because we don't have an established uptrend yet um and we need to see you know do these support levels hold for a wave four for a wave five and so on so yeah but that's my view about the nasdaq so i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye